This is a brief tutorial to make uh, an automatic spreadsheet to calculate historical volatility. Volatility is a critical to risk measurement. Generally, volatility refers to standard deviation, which is a dispersion measure. Greater dispersion implies greater risk, which implies higher odds of a price erosion or portfolio loss. This is key information for an invest investor. Volatility can be used on its own and it's also used as a main parameter of option valuation. So histori historical volatility can also be used as a tool by traders who are trading only the underlying instrument. So uh, we can use it in several ways. Volatility is easily the most common risk measure despite its imperfections. Uh, the main of them is um, it's considered risky. Uh, the downside movements as well as the uh, upwards movements uh, so it doesn't differentiate uh, between them we often uh, use it to estimate future vol volatility by looking at this indicator uh, this is a sound technique since the volatility tends to have some resistance to change for example if you have a high 40 days historical volatility you can assume that in the short term historical volatility will remain high since it's a uh, 40 days period and it's difficult that we will witness a sudden drop on its value. Since historical volatility is the standard deviation of the price returns over a given number of uh, uh, sessions um, multiplied by a factor, uh, normally use uh, 260 days. This is the year um, with the holidays and weekends deducted. Uh, so we get the annualized volatility level. A price return, uh, we mean the natural logarithm of the percentage price changes from one day to the other. So to calculate historical volatility, we need to take two steps. The first step is compute a series of periodic returns. The translation is we calculate the natural logarithm of the price changes from one day to the other. And then we choose a weighting sheet. Okay, now we can see a chart of historical volatility of 40 days. How can we make a spreadsheet to achieve the, the task to make these calculations automatically? Well, we have two things to do. First, we have to ensure an automatic uh, data feed. This is achieved to use uh, by using, at this moment, Yahoo data. So we have to go to the Yahoo Finance site. Here we are. And we choose a particular um, asset to analyze. So in this case, we'll use the ETF of the Standard uh, and Poor's SPY. We click in Get Quotes. And once we, are, we have the information on SPY, we go to, at your left, historical prices. Here we can see in a table the values. So we take this link, we cut it, and we go back to our spreadsheet. I'm using Microsoft Excel 2007 so we go to the data from web and we enter our link from Yahoo paste and go we have to wait until the the page the web page is fully loaded and we see that some arrows have appeared we click in this arrow and we see how the arrow changes and we have selected this table with all open, high, low, close and volume. So after we do that, we go to our right and click import. It asks for a cell, we choose A1 and OK. 
we have to wait a couple of seconds so data is pulled in the spreadsheet and here we are let's adjust some we have to delete a dividend in this case and here we are we have the data automatically pulled from Yahoo so the first thing we do we said it was two steps first steps is to calculate the phase changes as the lateral natural logarithm so phase change and our formula is this one we calculate the natural logarithm of yesterday price here in green and today's price or, or last price if you prefer since this is made on a weekend this spreadsheet so what we do is divide the last price for the previous price so b2 divided by b3 and on that operation we calculate the natural logarithm we go and complete the formula down on all the data we have so the first step is ready so let's say we want to calculate the historical volatility of 40 days this is our formula the standard deviation of the number of days we want times square root 260 that's the year deducted weekends and holidays times a hundred times a hundred is uh, doing um, expressing the number in percentage with without the need to um, select um, in the format cells menu that we want as uh, the number as a percentage so we make times a hundred and we didn't uh, have to go to through the menus menus so we have our formula we place it in here and that's it we have the historical volatility of 40 days for standard and poor's ETF so usually in, in options trading when you have to make the values of uh, theoretical values of an option you have to use historical volatility when you are uh, more than 40 days uh, um, till the expiration it's recommended to use 40 but as uh, the expiration goes closer you have to use as many days as the expiration is up to so let's suppose uh, the expiration is six days from now we no longer can use the formula for 40 days but we have to use another one for six days to make calculations correct so in this case we come here use the same formula but in here instead instead of doing c2 to c41 we are doing c2 to c8 six days so here we, ha here we have in six days volat uh, historical volatility for the last three days were sensibly lower than historical volatility of 40 days so as the expiration grows closer you have to adjust the, the number of periods of your historical volatility 